Candy, it seems like political correctness has invaded every part of our lives, including what our kids learn when it comes to science and the origins of life. Now, the Darwinian theory of evolution is often portrayed as confirmed science, but what about the evidence that challenges that assumption? Should that be allowed in classrooms? Well, what we support is really the concept of academic freedom. And what I mean by that is that we believe students should have the right to examine all of the evidence for or against different scientific theories. And likewise, teachers should have the right to acknowledge the scientific debate that's happening, um, controversies within the scientific community uh, that's coming up. Because when you think about it, if we really want to foster a challenging learning environment in our classrooms, we need to support, not squelch, free inquiry and debate. You know, and Kim, this is not just a problem happening on high school campuses. We're also regularly getting reports about these brilliant and well-respected researchers and scientists that are um, threatened with, you know, being denied tenure or even getting fired just because they happen to bring up that there might be evidence for intelligent design in nature or maybe the universe just didn't just happen because of random accident or chance. Um, so that's just wrong. Obviously, when you suppress ideas or shut down debate, you're really undermining the true purpose of education, and you're basically destroying academic freedom. And I just want to mention real quick that we should really think about the impact of that on our students. I mean, do we really want our students in public high schools just regurgitating or reciting what they perceive to be government-approved opinions? If we really want students to be challenged, we need them to have the freedom to think critically, to examine different evidence. And I really feel like that's going to reinvigorate our classrooms if we allow that. Now, what about the claims that intelligent design or allowing discussion of evidence that there is design in the universe is really just trying to get religion in schools? Well, I don't see this as a science versus religion debate. I really see this as science versus science. And probably the, the best way to illustrate that is to bring up a point that I made in an article I wrote for U.S. News and World Report Online. And that's that what this is really about is the freedom to follow the empirical evidence regardless of where it may lead. So, for example, it wouldn't be a good idea for us, for people to argue to suppress evidence for intelligent design because someone's afraid that it might lead a student to conclude there's a God. Just like, you know, it wouldn't be a good idea to suppress evidence for Darwinian evolution because someone's afraid that the student might become an atheist. So, you know, true objective science is about following the research wherever it may lead and without any fear of punishment or reprisal. And I really don't think there should be that double standard in our classrooms.